Imagine you step out of the sun's photosphere, its visible surface at about 5,500 degrees Celsius. And as you rise, instead of cooling down, you heat up to millions of degrees. Sounds backwards? Welcome to the sun's corona, where outer space is hotter than the surface. For decades, scientists have scratched their heads over this. Why is the sun's outer atmosphere hundreds of times hotter than its surface? The surface sits at tens of thousands of degrees, yet the corona soars to over a million degrees Celsius. Heat should drop as you move away from the source, but not here. Something else is pumping energy upward and turning the rules of thermodynamics on their head. Now, thanks to the super sharp Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope, DKIST, in Hawaii, scientists finally spotted the long elusive actors, twisting magnetic waves, known as Alphan waves, rippling through the corona. These waves travel along magnetic field lines, carrying energy outward like invisible guitar strings vibrating in a cosmic plasma. And crucially, researchers estimate these waves carry a significant amount of energy, perhaps enough to heat the corona and fuel the fast solar wind. In simple terms, magnetic waves twist, wobble, and crash in the corona. That motion converts into heat. It's like plucking a violin string and having the vibration heat the air around you. Only here the string is a magnetic field inside the sun AS plasma. Also, this matters for space weather. The same mechanisms that heat the corona also drive the solar wind that can impact satellites, power grids, and Earth's magnetic shield. So next time you catch a sunrise or watch the sun peek through your window, remember, even our nearest star still holds secrets. Thanks to these new observations, we're peeling back the layers of the sun's fiery crown and getting closer to understanding how it keeps itself ablaze. If you enjoyed this peek behind the sun's curtain, hit like and stay curious, because the universe has many more mysteries waiting.